Complete switch by Herbert. What a throw. And it is caught. Herbert is unbelievable. Great year. Of course, you want to go deep into the playoffs. Of course, you want to be playing in the Super Bowl. But as a Chargers stan and a fan, the amount of pressure, not just on yourself, but the weight of this entire franchise to get that first playoff berth, how unburdening, Justin, did that feel? Um, you know, I thought it was a great opportunity for us to, to be able to get there. And, and we dealt with our fair share of adversity this year and injuries, um, you know, tight losses and things like that. But for us to be able to get there, um, I thought that was a huge step for us. Unfortunately, it didn't go our way. We, we would have loved to have gone farther in the playoffs. Um, but I know that we've got the guys, we've got the coaching staff uh, to be able to figure that out in the future. So I'm really looking forward to this offseason. So what's like one specific thing that you personally are working on to get further next year? Yeah, I think it starts with learning this new offense. Uh, you know, we just recently hired Kellen Moore, um, you know, really excited to get to work with him. Uh, Got to learn all about what he wants, what he does. Um, and so this offense will be big to to pick up this these next couple of weeks. So really looking forward to be, being able to do that. What have the conversations with Moore been like so far? Uh, you know, it's been great. We we kind of grew up in a, a similar area. He's from Washington. And so um, grew up watching him play at Boise State, talked about that, talked about, you know, where he's been, where he's coached. Um, where he's played as well. Um, and so we've got so much respect for him as a coach, as a player, um, and just really excited to get to work with him. I know you don't have the playbook or any of that down, but you guys have had conversations. You said that you're excited about it. What do you think is going to be different now that Kellen Moore is in the, in the building? That's a good question. You know, I think that's something that remains to be seen. Um, you know, he's obviously got the respect of the NFL, um, haven't seen the playbook yet. And so that's something that we'll get into, but uh, uh, love the, 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 the tempo that they play with. Um, you know, they're able to get guys open and, and get the ball going. Does a good job, as he always does, working the progressions. But here you see that wrapped up right as he releases it, and he comes down. And Herbert needs some help in getting up. Look out. Holding his ribcage, and uh-oh. Now, the season's over, so we can be honest about things. How much did it impact your play out there? Um... You know, I think the ribs early on were, were pretty tough. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a discomfort that I had to deal with for, um, you know, six or seven weeks. Um, but as, la as that got better, time healed. Everyone I talk to about you specifically says toughness is your defining characteristic. Is toughness your defining characteristic as a quarterback? Um, I'd like to think so. You know, I think that as a quarterback and as a teammate, um, you need to be able to put everything on the line and, and uh, even when you don't feel great and when you don't want to play and you don't want to go to practice, you need to be able to go out there and, and give your best because your teammates deserve that. The the team, the fans that follow the team, they deserve that. And so for me, it was it was important to be out there and to, to go play and, and give everything I had. And, um, you know, I think my dad taught me that growing up. So I'm thankful to, to have a guy like that in my life. I know you don't care about social media. I know you don't look at things because you're that's just not you. I don't know, have to even know you personally to know that. Uh, what did you make of the social media quarterback campaign? What, do you, what are your thoughts on that right now? Um, I actually didn't follow it. Um, and so that's one of the things that I think teammates brought up to my attention after. And this is, the, you know, this is the, what they said. And this is what was going on. And, um, you know, I think as a quarterback, you can't look too much into that um, because so many people have so many different opinions. Um, and if you start listening to one, you got to start listening to them all. And so what's most important is um, what my family, what my coaches, what my teammates think. And so if it's not going on in that building, um, you try to limit your, your focus and not give it too much attention. If you don't look at the outside noise and you don't look at the, the social media quarterback jersey printed with that on the back of it, what motivates Justin Herbert? Um, it's just being the best quarterback that I can be, uh, you know, being a great teammate for those guys. And I've got so much respect for, for everyone in that locker room and, and they deserve the best. And so I want to go out there and give them my best shot. Um, you know, it's all about winning football games and doing your best. And, you know, unfortunately we fell short this year, but, uh, it's going out and competing, having fun, um, and realizing that you get to play a game for your, for your living. Besides your name, which is, is on the back of your Jersey. And the only thing that should be on the back of your Jersey, what word or phrase would you have printed out on the back of your 2023 Chargers jersey? One message that you would like to send to the world? Um, I think it, it's our way. Um, and you know, that's something that Coach Daly has, has said for the past couple of years. And, and you know, we're going to do things our way. And, um, you know, we're going to compete. We're going to have, you know, great relationships with our teammates. Um, you know, we're going to push each other. And, you know, we're going to have fun at the same time. And, and we're going to do all these things and, and hopefully win, win football games. And, and we have to be better than we were last year. Um, but, you know, I think we got the guys, we got the coaching staff. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this offseason.
No, you, t- you talk like a veteran. You're still kind of a young cat in this league. I got to ask you, who is the biggest pain in your butt? I'm talking, I'm you know, actual person, person that you have faced that just pain in your butt. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. I think uh, we've got a bunch of pass rushers um, in the AFC West, and I think Max Crosby, Chris Jones, uh, Frank Clark, um, those guys, uh, Bradley Chubb as well this, this past year. I know he's he's in Miami now, but uh, those guys are able to get after the passer and definitely make my do- my job pretty tough. Let's start with the jersey. Uh, yeah, so it's a Lowe's home team jersey, and uh, Lowe's home team actually is a uh, community initiative, five-year, $100 million investment by Lowe's to help the community in which it serves. Um, and then uh, I'm a part of the team, thankfully, and it's been an honor because uh, this past year, uh, I worked on a uh, Kid City Breezeway project that brought a unused area, converted it into a beautiful outdoor area for an after-school program. Why was it important for you, Justin, to partner with Lowe's? Um, you know, I've I've had so much fun being a part of this this partnership because what they've been able to do in the community is, has been huge, and that's one of those things that I've really tried to do these past couple of years of of having this platform um, as as an athlete. Um, you know, you can use it for the better, and, and Lowe's is one of those companies that has done such a great job in the previous years of its, you know, conception. And, um, you know, I've, I've had so much fun being a part of it. And if I can help out however I can, especially this this past year with the Kid City Breezeway project, um, it's been a lot of fun and, and doing a lot of good. So it's exciting to see. Now, what were you actually doing for that project, right? It's like it was an unused gated sort of dead area between Kid City and there was like a neighborhood apartment building. I understand. What were you out there with like a tool belt? Were you Tim Allen and uh, Home Improvement out there, Benfording things up? Probably don't even know what that is. Do you even know um, what the movement is, Justin? Yeah, so I actually grew grew up watching that show a little bit, um, so I know of it, but uh, was out there, um, you know, using the power washer, cleaning the walls, uh, clearing the walkway. Didn't do a ton of work, but was out there. Um, and so I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Justin, if you were a, a tool or something that is sold in Lowe's, what would you be? Um, maybe a utility belt. Uh, I don't know, I think. Uh, <laughs> Some commotion for the answer. That's pretty Thank good. You. Everybody watching this can go nominate. It's until February 20th. It's Lowe's Hometowns. Go to Lowe's.com slash hometowns. We'll get everybody all the information they need. But I want to ask you about Eugene. A quick little game here. I want just just first thing that comes to mind. Your favorite restaurant in Eugene? Killer Burger. That was quick. I actually, I actually had it last night, so uh, it <laughs> didn't take too much effort. Ice cream spot. Um, Prince Bucklers. Favorite football field. Uh, Autzen Stadium. Favorite memory in Eugene? Um, It would have been winning uh, a baseball state championship in 2016 with uh, all my high school friends. Justin, thank you for your time. You're awesome. Thanks, guys, for uh, the time, and we appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much.